What is going on guys? This is Spade and this is going to be a, a little tutorial. Not at all actually. It's not going to be a tutorial. It's going to be more of a what the fuck Windows video. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Windows has gone and fucked it up. And the reason why I say that is because Monday for me, I got the Windows Creators update. Uh, and with that being said, and I'm not alone here. I've been looking on the OBS forums. With that being said, that has fucked up a lot of people's OBS software. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying OBS and not XSplit or Infinisein, Lightstream, whatever you're using to stream, it's localized to OBS. And the reason why I can prove this is because if I load up Xtreme, uh, Xtreme, holy fuck, if I load up XSplit and hit stream, it's fine. It runs perfect with, I, I say perfect, but perfect with very minimal dropped frames. Uh, and where, as, as I'm going to show you right now, this is connected to my Twitch. Uh, this is OBS. The current build is 18.02. This is a beta build that they released saying it fixed the problem. Uh, and it's still persisting. Uh, they did, in fact, tell me to test their new enable new networking code. I don't know what the fuck it does, but I'll enable it. Uh, I used this today. It, it still had drops here and there. It wasn't perfect. Uh, so right now, recording this video, it's probably going to work and make me look like a fucking dumbass. But it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and hit start stream right here. And we're going to pay attention to this little color-coded box. Because lately it's been going from green to yellow to red to the point to where my friends have been making fun of me. Uh, because I was so upset with this thing, <laughs> saying that it was making fun of like the Christmas Carol, saying green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. Uh, pointless information. Uh, but over here, it's not really dropping any frames, but it's saying the connection isn't stable. Earlier, oh, here we go, now we're dropping frames. Earlier, this would just drop frames excessively to the point to where within a minute, I would drop over a thousand frames. So it is a lot less trying to think of the word here fruitful i guess you could say i don't know i'm not looking for the word uh, it is less than it was but it's still there it's still present which for the type of stream you're trying to do this is actually quite bad uh so with that said i need to figure out what's going on if anyone else is having these problems let me know uh the reason why i i'm not mentioning any games or anything like that is because this is isolated uh it's kind of hard to explain. I have two PCs. This test right here, I'm just showing you on my on my gaming PC because it's already feeding video into the streaming PC. It's just easier for me. Whereas my streaming PC as a whole, all it runs is a streaming program, chat box, that's it. So it's very minimal stuff installed on it. I'm not using a VAST. I'm not using AVG or anything like that. So there's nothing conflicting with OBS that they're coming out and admitting is conflicting with it, like Avast or AVG. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on or anything like that. So as you can see, we're, we got 351 dropped frames in a matter of uh, almost two minutes. Uh, we're going up to 400. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this, and I'm going to close it. And we're going to go over here and open XSplit up. And it's going to take a little bit because I have Shadow Play running too in the background. So that's going to take a little bit to open it up. Yes, I know. Quit telling me that I have Shadow Play running. I'm quite aware. But I just wanted to see if anyone else is having these problems or, or, or anyone else might have a potential fix for it. Because the forums on OBS Project, uh, no one has fixes outside of disable game mode on a VAST. I don't have a VAST or anything like that installed. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, and this is just a trial version. It's just a 720p 30fps, as you can see right here. That's what the stream setting is for. Uh, that's what it's set up to do. I'm going to make sure my output is still uh, set up to do the test bandwidth. Oh, fuck. It wants me to do my... Probably should have disabled those since I'm trying to record a video. But hey, man, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for that. That's <laughs> son of a bitch. That subscription on YouTube. I appreciate that, man. I don't know what's going on, but hey, appreciate you. Uh, but what we're gonna do now? Uh, I'm probably gonna have to change the scene real fast 
just so I can put in this stream key. So give me one second. It's gonna go, I'm gonna put it to my setup screen real fast and then we're gonna have to put my stream key in. Da, 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 da. To do this test. Come on, come on Twitch. I don't want to go to streaming apps. Quit fucking with me. These fucking computers, man. Settings? Alright, so at the end of this, we're going to do this. Bandwidth equals true. That's what we're gonna put on here. All right, so save that. Okay, so we can go back to my main thing. Sorry about that, guys. So what we're gonna do, uh, it's just a bandwidth test. It's not even really a bandwidth. At the end of your stream, stream key, if you do bandwidth test equals true, uh, it doesn't announce that you're going live you still go live but it doesn't push all the notifications so you're essentially just doing a test and we're going to pay attention to this top bar right here uh and i'll zoom in on it if i, I actually i can't zoom in on it but we're going to pay attention to this top bar so we're going to go to twitch and let it go live this thing is set i don't even know what this is set for i uh, probably should have checked that huh that bit rate's pretty terrible what's that set at let's see but still we're at no dropped frames what's this bit rate set at 2500 that's pretty fucking low all right so i normally stream at 5000 so i'm going to change this to 5000 the buffer is set to all oh, that buffer is wrong i always stream at very fast so we can change that hit okay and i'm actually going to go ahead and well let's move everything up here we go so right here, we're still looking at zero drop frames. Let me close this. We're at a thousand frames encoded. We're still at zero drop frames. Whereas by now, uh, OBS had already dropped quite a bit in terms of frames and data. Now, on the flip side of everything, XSplit is more CPU intensive than most people would prefer to run. Uh, if you're running on an AMD system, this is going to be ridiculously high. If you're not, it's if Intel systems can run this a little bit better in terms of X split, but AMD systems, it's a little rough. But as you can see, I'm not dropping frames at all, so it's not a connectivity problem. It's not a net problem. It is an OBS problem, and I'm not sure how to fix it. Again, if anyone wants to help me out here, lend a hand. I'd greatly appreciate it. So until then, we'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Leave your suggestions in the comments below and we'll see if we can fix this shit together. Later.